Hello guys, Charlie Matthews here. I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded for a while, but I've got something exciting that I want to show you today. I've briefly touched upon this before, but I just want to show you how you can install Windows XP Professional or any kind of Windows XP onto your computer via a virtual um, software. So I am going to show you how you can download and install uh, Windows XP onto your computer. So what you're going to do is you're going to head over to Google Chrome and you're going to copy these links into Google Chrome. Now these will be um, in the description below so you can just copy and paste them in. And the first one we're going to do is VirtualBox. So you're just going to head to this web address and you're going to click on the one that you have. So Windows, OS, Linux or Solaris. Mine is Windows so you're just going to press Windows and then you're going to hit open when done. And I will be back when this has downloaded. Okay, so this will be finished in just a second. And once it has completed, we can just go ahead and close Google Chrome just for the minute. Okay, so let's close it and it should open right up. Okay, so it's uh, Oracle VM VirtualBox and mine has come up there. So all you can do is just press it and then install it. Now, mine has been installed and it should look like that on your screen so you just have a brand new virtual box and there shouldn't be any machines on here at all okay so what we're going to do is we are just going to leave that open for a second and we're going to head back onto google chrome we're then going to copy this link paste it in the address bar and then it should open up this okay so there was a problem with, with, with the preview that is absolutely fine just press download and it should come up saying Google, Google Drive cannot scan this vi file for viruses. I have scanned this with a trusty thing that I uh, like to use, a trusty program, and uh, it has not got any viruses in it at all. So just click download anyway. And again, depending on your speed, this should take um, not that long, but it should take uh, one or two minutes. So it's 570 megabytes. Uh, just press open when done. And again, I will be back when this is downloaded. Okay then guys, so this has nearly been completed, so just wait for this to download. And what you are going to do is just press VMware Player. Okay, and then just press cancel because we don't want to open it just yet. <laughs> okay, so let's just close Google Chrome and we should be able to see that um, the virtual box is still there. But we can just go into our files and find the um, XP Professional file that we've just downloaded. So it should be in downloads and then it's right there. So what we're going to do is just drag that over and into the desktop. Okay, so we have it right there. And all we're going to do now is we need to go to the final link we have, which is the RAR Lab. And go back into Google, Google Chrome and download this. 64 bit because mine is a 64 and then when this has downloaded all we're going to do is drag that over to the desktop as well okay so now we can close everything and then we have it all there so the programs we need or the files we need are these three here so you should have windows xp professional winrar and oracle vm virtual box so what we're going to do now is we need to um right click that then we need to press extract here Okay, and once it has extracted, it should finish. Okay, so that's been extracted. And then all we need to do now is we need to open VM VirtualBox. Okay, now what we need to do now is we need to click New. So we're going to create a virtual machine. And we can name this virtual machine anything you want. So I'm obviously going to uh, name it Windows XP. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to move this up probably to about 512. Um, we're going to keep it on Microsoft Windows. We're going to keep that on 32-bit. And you can change this to whatever you want. Again, I'm just going to keep it on 512. And you're going to create a virtual hard disk now. So press create. Make sure that it's not on any of these. It's just on VDI. And it should probably be on about 10 gigabytes. But, but you can change this to uh, however much you want. I'm going to keep it 
around um, 10 gigabytes. Okay, just make sure that that is on dynamically allocated and press create. Okay, so this has uh, successfully created the um, virtual machine that you want. So this is the Windows XP machine and all we have to do now is press start. This will start the virtual machine itself. And then it will say select a startup disk. So what we're going to do now is we're going to um, press the folder icon. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into the desktop because that's where we saved that, that file there because that's the extracted file. We're going to press that and we're going to press open. Then all we need to do is press start. So this will open up the virtual machine as it is. Just get rid of the tags at the top here and we can just maximize this screen. It will start up the virtual machine um, and it will set it up on its own. And then we need to do a few more things just before we start and it's ready because it's not ready yet. Okay, so this is the unpart uh, unpartitioned space that you've just created with the 10, uh, 10,000 me megabytes, so the t 10 gigs basically. And then what we're going to do is you just need to hit enter on, on your keyboard. Then the one that we're going to use is the NTFS file system quick. So we just want to create it quickly. So just press enter again. This will format your um, professional setup. And this may take a few minutes because it's going to partition everything now. Okay, so it's just copying the files. Just to make sure that everything is getting set up for us. So it's currently on 30%. Then I will be back when this has finished. Okay then guys, so we're currently on 80%. Should be finished any second now. Just depending on your computer's speed. And it's now completed. So it's just setting up everything now. Won't take long. And when it has finished guys, just press any key. And it should load the Windows XP start. Start screen. Okay, so setup is going to be started now within the actual uh, Windows XP program itself. Okay, so it's just it's just installing Windows. It says that there's going to be 39 minutes left, but that is uh, that that's not right. Um, as we're not installing a proper version of Windows, this is just a virtual Windows um, version. So when it's just finished, it says there installing devices, and you can see the progress moving across. When it's finished, it should start and finalize the installation. Just a couple more minutes. Just while this is loading guys, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I know that there hasn't been a lot of content recently, but um, as I said, I've, I've been quite busy over the past few months. Uh, but there will be some more content uploaded on a weekly basis. And thank you all for 1000 subscribers. Okay, so this is nearly finished. You can see by the progress bar that, is, that it has nearly finished here. And then we just can press next here. So we're setting up and customizing everything. So you're just going to put your name in. Um, there, there has to be something in inputted here. So um, I'll just put YouTube. Uh, press next. Type in your administrator password. And then press next. Okay, so you're just going to set your times. And it's going to install the network. So I will be back with you when this is finished. It won't take a few minutes. Okay, so... Here, this doesn't matter, you can just type in anything you want, again, just create a work group. Doesn't matter what you type in there. And then when you've entered that, it's just going to finalise everything, copy all the files, and it should be done. So 25 minutes. 
24 minutes. Okay, so it's just installing everything now. Started with the start menu items, and then it's going to move on. Okay, so it's just saving the settings now. And we are in the final part of Windows XP. So we're one step closer to getting Windows XP on our computer. Oracle have done a really, really good job with creating the VM Virtual Box as um, it's very nostalgic and it's quite useful for if you want a virtual machine to be using on your computer whilst you use your normal Windows. Um, it's it's very can be, be very useful. Okay, and when it has saved the settings, which should be in about 20 seconds, then we will be able to set it up. Okay, so we're starting here now. We should be able to hear the, the Windows logon sound. Okay, guys, so this is Windows XP. This has been successfully installed. And it will automatically adjust the screen resolution, so that's okay. It's just adjusted it a tiny bit, but I will show you a tip to make sure that it's completely full screen. Just in a second. And then when it loads, it should go onto the classic Windows XP logon page. Okay, so let's just set things up press next help protect against automatic updates it will connect to the internet um yes this computer will connect to the internet and no not at this time i'm gonna put in the name press next Press finish. So here we go. This usually takes about 10 seconds just to get on. Just loading everything. And here we go. So here we are. This is Windows XP on your system. Okay, so this is completely working, you can go onto your computer, you can check things out on there, um, you can use the internet by clicking on Internet Explorer, um, you can download anything you, you would like on there, you, you, you can use it as, as your own vi virtual machine, recycle bin, everything literally works. So, just one more thing be before I go. Um, to change the screen resolution so this comes out throughout the whole thing, we're going to go up to Devices here, and we're going to click Insert Guest Edition CD Image. Okay, click Next. Next. Install. Let it install. This will then restart your system. Your virtual system, that is. And when this loads back up, just press view, full screen mode, and we are completely in full screen here. Okay, so this is fully usable now. We can use everything on here. You can go onto your Internet Explorer, you know, you can just uh, go onto google.com do some, some searching on there, or whatever you want, but this is entirely a usable, usable version of Windows XP. And when you're finished, just press up there, scroll up, then press X. Okay, finished, just press view, and press that again. To finish, just simply press the X in the top right of virtual uh, VM box, power off the machine, or you can save the machine stay. I'm just going to power off the machine and press OK. Then press X and you are back to normal.
make sure that you keep these three files on your computer as long as you want to use Windows XP. And just before I go guys, I just want to say that if you want to check out my website, it is charliematthews.co.uk. Please feel free to check that out. And there are links to my YouTube channel, so you can just press on that and you can subscribe to my channel if you would like to. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. See you later guys.